Hello everyone, this is Michael. I want to show you quickly how um, to install and use the boom and crash spike detector. Um, so first thing, you open the MT5 as you see here. And then the next thing after that, uh, make sure that you download the, um, the compressed folder like that. And then you open it. Open this folder, you go to indicators, click on it, copy everything that you see inside. Uh, when you copy, you minimize, you come and open MT5, go to, uh, then you follow this, you open that folder, come to MQL5, uh, indicators, and paste everything there, okay? Just paste it here. Then the next thing, um, you go back to that folder, you come and copy the template, then we go back to uh, we go to MT5 file, uh, open folder, the MQL5. Uh, you come to profile, then templates, open it, then you paste it here. Okay. Then the next thing is to close all those uh, files. You close everything. Um, close MT5, um, then uh, you will have to close it, then you refresh, okay, then you open the MT5. Now we have load, loaded the indicators and the templates. The next thing is to come and load it on the chart, okay. Um, I use it preferably in Crash 500 and Boom 500 M1 time frame. Right click. Then you go to the template. Yeah, then you load either boom or crash, depending on which market. Okay, then you should see something exactly like this. Exactly like this. So now you see in the, in the red zone below the 200 moving averages, you see we have higher probability of getting spiked downwards. Now when you see blue and the green zone, that is uptrend, we don't take it. So to increase your probability, you take only the trade in a red zone and below the 200 moving averages, okay? That one, you know, trading is probability, so you're looking for higher probability, okay, of win rate. So uh, to increase your chance, we use the moving average, and for crash market, we take the, the signals that come below that purple moving average and when it's definitely in the red yellow zone there you can see here almost every signal that came it is spiked without running for long so all the signal that comes above the 200 moving averages we do not use them okay uh, we don't take them because those ones are considered uptrend you understand yeah so now like here where the market is you can't take uh a sell trade there because it's uh, above uh, the 200 moving average. Now, the opposite is true for boom. In the yellow zone, please, is not for catching spikes. Even if you see the signal, you ignore. Okay, in the red yellow zone for boom, maybe if you're selling boom, you can use it for scalping, but not for taking spike. Meanwhile, when the market is above the, the, the purple moving average, blue green zone, you take those signals because you have higher probability of uh, catching those spikes, as you can see there, higher probability.